What is going on everybody and welcome on into today's video. We are covering how to paper trade on trading view. So right now we are looking at a trading view layout of SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. We're sitting here at like 412 or so on SPY. It's actually down about one and a quarter percent today or so. But let's talk about this. We're going to go through some examples trading SPY and maybe even some other stocks as well. So first things first, we got to get the paper trading platform up and we got to be able to actually test out how to do this. So let us dive into things. So at the bottom of our screen, there's the stock scanner, there's notes, the editor, strategy tester. See where I have interactive brokers live. You may not have uh, that popping up. I actually had a video recently covering how to connect your brokers platform to TradingView. And actually in that example, we tied in interactive brokers. Now you can't connect every broker as of right now, but there are quite a number of brokers, at least as of right now, that you can connect. And so you can connect these and start trading on TradingView through your broker, which I've been using with a interactive brokers account. Uh, but if you don't, well, you, you go down here and the first option you're going to have is paper trading. So you're going to click on this right here and go to connect. It's TradingView's paper trading, I guess, account. So click on connect and then give it a few seconds. And now you're good to go. So now you should see a green little light connected and it should say paper trading. So now you're inside of the interactive brokers paper trading account. And as of right now, we have looks like $100,000 starting balance. Now, uh, a lot of platforms will give you roughly $100,000 start and test it out. But in this example, we want to dive through how to now go and trade on this paper trading platform. So really quick, if I click on the paper trading next to my account name, what will end up showing, well, there's a bunch of options. Let me just walk through these options really quick. So if I click on the first one that says reset paper trading account, maybe I want to lower this dollar amount down to a specific value. So maybe you have a thousand dollar account that you're planning on funding, but you want to learn how to trade with a thousand dollars. So I can reset my account to a thousand dollars. Now, boom, just like that. See where it says account balance and equity thousand bucks. So if that's what I want to do, then that's great. So I would recommend put in a realistic amount. Don't just go with a hundred thousand dollars, go with a realistic amount that you're going to actually be trading with on a live account once you do go live. Okay. So it could be more realistic. Okay. Next under that there's commission settings. So maybe on your broker, there's no commissions, but maybe there are commissions. And if you want to simulate the exact same thing that you'd be doing on your brokerage platform, where maybe there's commissions in there, you know, 10 cents a trade, maybe they're this, they're this percent, they're that percent. I could now include commissions on my trade. And so now maybe I have a fixed amount of, let's just say a $1 per trade. And now I'm going to be getting charged essentially a commission every time I trade. So now in my paper trading account, they're going to go through when I make my trades, they're going to take that $1 off. So it's going to essentially simulate going live. So maybe that's, that's useful. I think it's something that, you know, pla other platforms don't have, which I highly would recommend you utilize if, you know, you do have commissions on your platform or you you anticipate commissions when you do go live. Okay. I'm going to uncheck that for now because I don't need to really worry. I'm not really too, too concerned about it, but it could be useful. Next, I go back in here. We have trading settings. There's a lot you can change. There's a lot you can do here. Uh, buy, sell buttons, instant order placement, notifications on executions, all of this stuff. If you want to, I wouldn't be like too, too concerned about it. You know, it's up to your preference. It's up to your personal preference. There's an alert just went off on Costco. I can go back and check that after this video. You know, if you want to, um, these aren't like super, super crucial stuff. It's really come, it comes down to your customization and, and what you want to add in the appearance, the backgrounds and all that stuff. If, if you so care to, to look at this, maybe for you, you want to have, you know, notifications on executions, just so that you know, you got filled or, you know, it didn't fill and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll highlight those and I'll, I'll get those in and I'll click on okay. And that's, it for me at least in this example then we have the how to use paper trading so you can actually go through uh, and they have a lot of information here that covers a, a lot of questions that you honestly may have about paper trading so this is actually a great place to go if you have specific questions and you can even type in answers and are typing questions and, and see if they have an answer specific to you if you can't find it here let us know in the comment section down below we'd be happy to answer questions uh, if we can answer them of course so there is that uh, outside of that, we have summary row. So this is essentially what's showing up on the bottom of my screen. It'll tell me my account balance, equity and open profit. I'm going to have all those selected for me. I can export data and I can go back to see that brokerage list or log out. I'm going to leave everything else as is. We're good to go. 
If I go over here to the right hand side of this kind of bottom uh, window, uh, I have the minimize button. So if I want to have a bigger chart, great. I'm still in the paper trading account. It'll just show you right here that it says paper trading connected. Okay. So I'm still using my paper money, but I don't really need to, you know, have this taking up space. So I get rid of it or I click on the maximize panel and it will, it will show me you know, everything. If I have a lot of trades, a lot of positions, great. It's helpful. They even have a trading journal feature, which is actually really, really cool. I go up in here. We can add in time. We can add in text to this. We can have, we have our account history. So it goes through kind of the period of time, your balance over time. We have a fresh account here. So there's nothing in here as of right now, go back through history, positions, working orders, field orders, inactive, canceled. You can go back through all the history will be here. So it's very, very useful uh, when it comes time to log your trades, whether you want to log them here, whether you don't want to log them here, wherever you want to log them uh, to go back and review and see how you performed and, and where your mistakes were, where your successes were, all that kind of stuff. So it's honestly, guys, it's, it's a great platform to take advantage of, uh, especially given that they have a lot of customizations, uh, you know, that really can cater this to you where some platforms, I know you can't change the account balance and, and it's kind of difficult. It's weird. I, I know this has been, this has been quite easy, at least for me. So there's that I'm going to leave this panel open on the bottom so we can kind of see, but let's go ahead and take a shot at spy live. Um, and let's go take a shot at it. So I'm going to, we're on the daily chart. Each of these candlesticks is one day. Got the volume profile pulled up here too on the right hand side. Okay. We got some videos on the trading view playlist already that cover a lot of these different widgets, but we're going to want to go down here to where it says the order panel. Okay. The two arrows click on the order panel. And now, boom, we are in now, if you are on a live account, let's say you connected like an interactive brokers, it will tell you interactive brokers. In this case, it says paper trading. So you guys know that we are using a paper trading account. We are putting this order in, make sure you double check at the top of your screen, just so that you know what you're getting yourself into. In this example, since I tossed a thousand dollars in, we can only trade up to two shares of spy here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's say I want to go ahead and do a market buy easiest order you can do. I would go ahead and type in two units, which would be two shares in this situation. Now the thing about trading view is that you can trade a lot of different stuff. You can't, it's not just, you know, equities. It's not just stocks. It's, it's you can trade a lot of different things. So that's why, you know, it, we'll, we'll cover this in a second, but that's why there's a different, there's a bunch of different ways you can trade certain things. Uh, so in this case, two units is going to cost me $823 right now. And of course the price is changing. So that is fluctuating right here. As we speak, uh, it tells me my leverage right here. In this case, there's none. It's just one to one and uh, we're good to go. So I'm going to go in, do two units. Now I could also add a take profit and stop loss. So if that's my trade, let's go into the chart on a shorter time frame, And let's see if I can kind of nail down uh, a trade here for spy. So let's say I'm going to go long. I'm going to put a take profit and a stop loss. Okay. In this situation, and I'm going to go for the price. Okay. I'm going to just go with the price. So take profit here. I'm seeing spy is down here. Maybe we don't want it to go below this 411.32. So that's where I'm going to put my stop loss right there. So 411.30, I'm going to go 411.29 as my stop loss. And then for my take profit, let's go up towards VWAP. So I'm going to say uh, 412, let's go 412.75. Let's do 412.75. Let's go ahead, take that position now, and we're in. See how we were in? So now in this case, I guess my take profit's a little too early. I would want to make the stop loss tighter than where the take profit is uh, in this case. So maybe I, would, I could have had my take profit up higher over the VWAP. But in this case, VWAP is right here. So I do want to get filled uh, at that area, which could be resistance. doesn't necessarily have to be in this case. But for, the, for this example, here we go. So we're currently here at 412.58. We're about 20 cents off from my take profit. You guys will see it hit live if it does hit on this uh, in the next couple of minutes. If not, I'll just fast forward the video and uh, we'll get through it. So real quick, I'm actually going to move my stop loss up to the bottom of this candlestick. Let's put this past five minute candle here at 411.77. I'll move this up right here and now we are good. So I moved that stop loss up a bit to make sure I minimize my risk. Obviously, when we take these trades, we, you know, realistically, you want to have a higher reward to risk ratio. If you're going to take large, if you're going to have a larger move to the downside to your stop loss, than to your take profit to the upside, you're going to need to be right well more than half the time to be profitable. So, you know, this example is just kind of for, for this example for this video. 
but that's the point, okay? Now, we'll see live right here. See how it says we're up 50 cents, 64 cents? I know it's tough to see, but we, it will be telling me my, my P&L is also live right on the screen, and we're about to take it out here. We're a couple cents off from getting taken out. Let's see if we get taken out. Five cents away. Give it to us. Come on. Let's see. We're, we're, we're right up there. She's teasing us. She's teasing us here. I'm going to move my stop loss now up. Oh, wait. We're about to get taken out. Here we go. Three cents away. Ooh. I'm going to move my stop loss up to uh, around the break even, actually a little bit more than break even, just so that in this case, I don't end up losing money on a trade that's already green. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now my stop loss is above my average price. I moved that up just to make sure we locked in gains. And now the stock came down. It looks like we're about to get taken out and hit the stop loss. Going to click on modify here. And now our stop loss has been moved up to north of our average price. So we are going to guarantee profit here in this situation uh, at this point. So when you have a trade that goes your way, boom, you can go ahead and do that to make sure you guarantee gains. Now, if it does come down, we still lock in a gain here, even if this ends up taking us out as an example. Boom, we're taken out as the example. Okay, fine, no big deal. Guess what? We made 12 cents on the trade. So at least we made a, we had a profitable trade at the end of the day. That's the point, okay? So that's kind of a quick example. Now we'll walk through a couple of different things. That was with a market order. Now, of course, you can use limit orders if you would like to. Of course, that's a great, great idea. I would highly recommend you do so. So let's go ahead and do an example. Let's say I want to buy SPY, go limit order. And I'm going to click on my limit price, enter the price. So let's say we're at 412 right now, roughly. I'm going to go ahead and do, let's just say I want to buy a SPY at 411.53. Go ahead. I select how many units, how many shares. In this case, two shares would be fine. And I can also set my take profit and stop loss there so that once it fills, if it does, I don't have to worry. So in this case, that 411.50 area is like down here. I want my stop loss below low of the day, 411.35. So I'll put a stop loss here. At 411 point, let's do the 29 again. And then we can do a take profit up here towards that 412. So let's go ahead and enter this order in. Time and force, day, week, month. I'm going to put on a, a day just because it's. Uh, I want this to get executed now if it does uh, end up happening. So boom. Now there it is. Order is set on the screen. We have a buy limit, stop loss, take profit. If we get hit on the buy, we can see is that guess what our range to the take profit is a lot larger than our range to, to the stop loss not a lot but a decent amount so that means we are risking less than our reward here we are close to getting filled Let's see if we get filled here in the next couple of seconds and just we're essentially we're just risking low of the day that's it we're risking low of the day and we're in we're, we're filled now we'll see if our PL moves if we get a good bounce i will move my stop loss up over my current average to make sure we lock in gains and we do not get we have we guarantee a winning trade if not, this will come down and hit my stop loss. And hey, it's fine. We took a shot risking low of the day. I think it's a pretty good risk reward trade here as an example. Boom. And we got taken out. Stop loss hit new low of the day. So we have minimized our risk there. And now we lost a couple of bucks or a couple cents on that play uh, as the example. So you guys have it in terms of a market order to enter and then also that limit order to enter. Uh, we, you can essentially use a lot of the same orders that you know, you'd be able to use on a lot of their platforms. It's very, very nice to use the take profit and stop at the same time. You don't have to do that. You could just take trades uh, as you see fit. Now, there is no options trading, at least as of right now. So make sure you take that with a grain of salt. Understand that, you know, to be honest, when it comes down to it, it's probably best to learn how these individual stocks move before you go in and up the ante with options. Just something to think about, you know, for the future. Okay. So there's also the stop order feature right here. So let's just say I wanted to use this feature. What I'm going to do is I am going to set this for 412. Now, what happens if I do this? Let me go ahead and show you guys. If I put that order in, it's a buy stop, which means that it will not get filled until we break above. So this is actually a good order to use for breakouts. If you don't want to play the stock until it breaks over a certain level, then you can use a buy stop order. It's essentially the same thing as like a, a sell stop. It's just the opposite way. Now you will get filled if we break above, but now you're buying in. So if you had shares of SPY and you put a stop loss, just a normal stop order down here on a sell stop, you're going to get sold if the stock drops below that price. In this case, you're going to get filled in, on the buy side if it pops up. Now, really quick, in terms of the, the time and force here, day means it will be just today's order and it will cancel by the end of the day. Week means it will cancel by the end of the week. Month, it will cancel by the end of the month. And then GTD, you can go in and set the date 
that you want it to cancel if you would like to. Now it's up to you. For me, I like to use day, and then if it's not gonna fill by, by, by the time frame that I'm on the screen, I'll just delete my order, click on the X right here, and that's it, cancel the order. Uh, if you want to adjust this really quick, so let's just say I wanted to adjust this buy stop, and I want to put the buy stop you know, down here a little bit more, uh, before you do that, make sure you click on modify order. Don't just drag it. Click on modify order to confirm it, and then it will be good to go to make sure you're modified and all good to go. So that's pretty much in a nutshell, paper trading platform here on TradingView. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We can, of course, make more videos going over this stuff in the future, but those are some examples of us live using it. Let me just jump in really quick to show you guys this. So now we have orders, and look at this. We have all of our orders. We have our history. We have our account history. We have everything, okay? So each of these trades is really, really cool because we can see that this initial trade here, uh, the first one, we had 12 cent profit. The second one, we lost 50 cents. So you can kind of see, and it gives you kind of the action that happened, and it gives you a little bit of a summary. Now, for our trading journal, it's gonna go through every action you took, every modification, every limit buy, every limit sell, everything. So you can go back through time and see exactly what your thought process was, what you did, and if you're realizing that you're editing your orders and taking profits too early or cutting losses too soon, or you're letting them go because you keep moving your stop loss down, 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 you're able to go back and see all that stuff and see all the information from your past trades at a specified time, which is very, very useful, okay? So highly recommend you check this out. Again, there will be a link in the video description box if you wanna get a free trial of TradingView and test it all out. But this is the paper trading platform in a nutshell. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Make sure you are subscribed. Check out our other videos on TradingView or other playlists we have on the channel already. Tons of great stuff, tutorials, and great information. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.